move now and with a certain amount of guilty pleasure give the floor to Madam and Professor Scott Cato for one minute please. Thank you so much President. In spite of the powerful campaign we've waged for four years, with grief and regret, I accept that we will leave the European Union on Friday. Oh no, here come the tears. Our future as a country has no clear shape beyond a few slogans, and this means that we have some very important political tasks ahead. As the Brexit losses mount, we must counter the betrayal narrative, where those who promoted the doomed strategy try to shift the blame for the damage onto the EU and onto those of us who argued, for it, who argued against it. We must demonstrate compassion and solidarity with EU citizens living in the UK who feel vulnerable and fearful. And we must revitalise the friendship groups and twinning associations that thrived in the decades before we joined the EU. Now is not the, tam now is not the time to campaign to rejoin but we must keep the dream alive, especially for young people who are overwhelmingly pro-European. I hold in my heart the knowledge that one day I will be back in this chamber celebrating our return to the heart of Europe. Thank you.